check it out, shameless plug. But I just honestly thought it'd be fun to do a vlog on a little spring challenge update. I have decided to switch around a few things and I'll kind of talk about why and just kind of give you an update and hopefully it inspires you guys in some way. If not, cool, thanks for tuning in. Anyways, I figured let's have a day together. Let's have a good old fashioned vlog. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get started. So first things first is, um, let's, let's sit on the bed. Good morning! Oh, he's got a little sheepers. He said, mom, don't worry. Where there's a will, there's a way. Sermentin will come. I was thinking about my spring challenge. And I was thinking back to the last video I posted and like talking about things that transformed my body that I realized helped me. I'm like, I haven't done a transformation in a very long time. I used to love challenges. I used to love cutting and bulking and like just attempting to paint my physique in a way. And I never knew how else to describe it than like, you know how some people like to like paint portraits or they like to draw. I like to sculpt my body, sculpture. I don't know, I just found it as like a form of art and I haven't done it in so long. And like, I was interested in getting back to that in that place of discipline. And I think I look great. I don't care to look the leanest. I don't care to be the trendiest. I wanna be happy and healthy and that's what matters to me. I just haven't had a challenge in a really long time. So I thought why not try and challenge myself and see how far I can get. And so this spring challenge is you and I getting down, I just realized I have a hole in my sweats, getting down to, <laughs> whoa squirrel the nitty gritty of what i'm gonna do how i'm gonna implement it and i will do like an update once a month maybe twice a month of like what i'm doing i'm gonna switch up my workouts i'm actually going to attempt to track my macros in a way that i prefer and i will explain that later um that'll start tomorrow and i'm just going to hold myself more accountable to like only having drinks on the weekends getting up for the sunrise with millie on certain days and just like really trying to amplify my life because I just feel stagnant at this moment. Good morning! It is the next day and I'm feeling fantastic. We're about to go for a lovely four mile run at 10 a.m. I wanted to get out there sooner because it's so hot. Let's see if there's any, I don't know what the temperature is. I'm assuming 85 because it's every day 85. Um, whoa. So I'm about to go for a run and then I'm grocery shopping. Guys, 
If anyone has Lemon 8, let's be friends. Add me because I freaking love that app. I am obsessed. Like Pinterest and Instagram put together. It's my favorite things in the world. I don't know if anyone else loves it as much as I do, but anyways, let's get ready for this run. I'm wearing Gymshark sweat top and then Gymshark shorts. They're like these running shorts. Maybe I'll pop them here if they still have them. Lately, I've just been like changing my vibe for my athletic wear. Like, I don't know. I just, like I said, I've just been feeling like neutrally and like staply and not as much with like the bright colors that I just don't wear as often. So I'm really like trying to zone in on my clothes, if that makes sense. I'm really trying to find like quality pieces that I will wear and mix match and just like matches everything, if that makes sense. I was rocking out to some oldies. I am an egg and that means it was successful. I do feel a little sunburnt. I tried to cover myself. I saw funny, I feel like I still got burnt sadly on my legs and lesson learned. I usually keep a towel in here. Yes, I did. Um, anyways, I just stretched at the gym. Now I'm gonna go grocery shopping at Costco, but I'm so hungry and I don't really wanna eat the Costco food. So I'm going to grab a bite to eat at Starbucks. Guys, Britney Spears was at our Starbucks this weekend. <laughs> Love. And grab a coffee and just treat myself because I did a amazing workout and it's 1110. Hola, buena, how are you? Can I please do a sausage breakfast sandwich? Um, and then a grande iced Americano uh, with two pumps of white mocha, please. And then a splash of cream and cinnamon, please. My OG order. To be fair, I have had two, two coffees, but sometimes we need to live a little, right? Well, hack for you guys. If you don't already do this, get the Starbucks app. Also, side note, I had my t-shirt cropped and look how much sweat that is. Um, get the Starbucks app because look, I have, ooh, let's see how many stars. I have 158 stars. That gives me a bakery item, hot coffee, iced coffee. Man, I should have got iced coffee. In the real world. Good morning, or afternoon, or evening. Whenever you're watching this, I'm coming at you. I just got in the car. It's noon and I'm about to go hit a upper body sesh. Um, since I didn't do it yesterday, since I was running, I was like, I'm just gonna push my split. Usually Wednesdays I do lower body, but I'm just in the mood to work on my upper body. I am lately loving neutrals. So I have the Whitney Simmons Gymshark neutral. Then in, it's, this is like an old school Gymshark sports bra. I don't think they sell it anymore. And then I have Lululemon Align dark green pants and let me tell you I've had these pants since college and I literally bought them on eBay because the color was sold out but I've always loved neutrals I'm a autumn for a while I was just like wearing bright colors and I'm here for it but lately like I said I'm coming into my own I'm just like really learning what I like in this era of my life and it's neutrals at the moment okay you guys it you can't really tell in this video but it has been raining cats and dogs all day and I am here for it. No, you still can't tell. There you go, you can kind of see. Just like pure darkness. And I love it. Reminds me of good old Seattle. All right, comment down below if you're like me, but I like a time crunch in the gym. I feel like I'm more effective. So I'm starting by warming up on the Smith machine. And then I'm actually doing like my own version of a drop set. I call it a hybrid drop set where I start with my heaviest. So I have 10 pound plates and then also the weight of the bar. I'm not actually sure how heavy that bar is. I should ask the front desk. Um, and then I'm slowly going to drop it down in weight, but I'm really probably aiming for about seven reps um, to do my heaviest weight at this moment. Then I bring it down to five pounds as you can see, and then I'm going to bring it down to solely just the bar, which is what I started with. But drop sets are really effective if you just are in a time crunch. For me personally, I like them. They challenge me. It just means that you have your highest weight first. All right, moving into a bent over row. I love this, but I feel like it's kind of controversial on a Smith machine. Personally, I feel like my mobility kind of sucks with it. Um, I don't know, so to each their own, but I was trying to give it all. I just think I would prefer to do it with like a 
free weights or a barbell. Um, but as you see, I started with 25 pounds and now I'm lowering it to 15 pound plates. And I'm just cranking away. I think I did maybe eight reps and then I went into tricep dips. Uh, guys, I used to not be able to do these after my boob job. So I'm quite proud I can do a couple. And then I just kind of made a super set with it. Then I jump into an upright row. I love these on the Smith machine. I just love an upright row in general. Make sure to activate your core at all times. I swear that's how I grew my abs was just activating my core in all my movements. Am I playing Lindsay Lohan's old album? What was it called? Speak? Anyone else? Yes. I'm listening to Disconnected. I move into lateral raises. I'm challenging myself with 15 pounds and I try to do them for about seven reps if possible. High up my weight for lateral raises to 15. I'll tell you, after my boob job, I struggle. Comment down below if you like these follow along workouts. I love it. Like it makes me so happy, but maybe you guys just prefer to watch me. Um, <laughs> I was dancing, listening, jamming out, and I'm doing around the worlds. Um, I actually was talking a lot, but you could not hear me with the air conditioning. It was like negative 10 in there and I was not having it, but we persevered. And I think I did about eight reps and three sets of around the worlds. Girlies, don't forget about your bisexuals. We will not look super manly. We will look all right, you heard the lady. So I'm going into biceps. I'm just doing a bicep curl and then I'm doing rotating bicep curls. I'm um, just kind of making it a fun little superset and trying to count to three each time. I have a question. I've always wondered who is this lady? How does one become this lady? She's in a gym and she has no idea probably. I'm in a silly goofy mood today. Let me know if you want a follow along workout. Oh, man. Top knot. She's unstable. She's very unstable. So here's what I mean by I count to three. Um, just go slow and controlled. Think of muscle and mind connection. And just don't neglect your biceps, ladies, okay? We look strong and sexy. Then I followed, I followed with uh, push-ups and I can only do three, but that is three that I couldn't do after my boob job. So I'm quite proud. And then I tried to go again and she said, nope. Then I followed into 10 minutes of sprints since I was on a time crunch. That was banging, I loved it. I just hop on and off, it's so easy. And I ran at like a 10.5 speed, I think. So many girlies ask me how I hop on and hop off. You just need to practice it a little bit and then I promise you'll be comfortable after a couple minutes. Now it's my favorite way to do sprints. Okay, hello, I'm back from the gym. I showered and I put a load of laundry in. Yes, I'm in my towel, but I wanted to show you. Okay, comment what you think on this. So I wanted some decor above the laundry. Machines? Wow, that struggled. So here's the laundry room. I basically put that. I've had this for years from Home Goods, the floating shelves. Guys, is this cheesy? I like just bought too much hand soap and I kind of like that it's green. And Michael's laughing and I'm like, what? It's a clean room. There's like cleaning supplies in there. Let me know your thoughts. I probably will remove it, but at least I like put something there, right? Okay, hello. Do not mind the laundry. I made myself the best protein shake. One of my goals with this is to increase my protein intake in general. I've gotten very lazy with it. Um, I've been baking with it, but like protein shakes for me right after the gym like hit. But I was too lazy to like pull out the Vitamix and make it for the longest time. So here we are. All I did was banana, ice, oat milk, and they finally restocked the whey Cinnabon protein. Code SAV saves you 20% off. It is freaking phenomenal. It's like not chalky. It doesn't hurt my stomach. Like it is just so smooth and tasty. I bake with it and now I drink it. Cheers. Hello. It is the night time. I don't know what this came about. I fishtailed it, but then I've gotten lazy to finish the fishtail. Um, anyways, I thought I would wrap up the vlog here and just kind of tell you where I'm at with this spring challenge. I actually have been feeling very good about my physique. Um, I, looking back and doing the voiceovers, I feel like I look phenomenal. Like I am very impressed, but there's just something in me that's like, 
you want, I just want a drastic change. I just, I want, I just want to go that next level. So that is my spring challenge is I am not cheating myself on the cardio. I am not cheating myself on lifting heavy, like I said, and really challenging myself as well with what I'm eating. So I'm really trying to focus on meal prepping for Michael and I. I'm making sure to have lots of fruits and veggies in the house so like I can snack on that instead of snacking on chips and just making like gradual little changes. Um, I plan on actually counting my macros just a couple times a week just to see like, am I lacking protein? Maybe I have too much carbs, I have no idea. Just for really what I'm trying to do with my body. Um, and I'm literally following the guide that I have in my new fitness program to do that. We have what we call like a macro playbook. So it's fun. So, so that's really kind of my idea for a spring challenge. I don't know, I just like with April feel like I wanna change and I want to just go into the summer feeling fantastic. And honestly, like today I just had a, a moment where I just felt discouraged and it, it wasn't even with my body. It's more like social media can be so discouraging sometimes. It's just like, I I don't know. And like, I want to be real with you guys because you guys have been like my people I feel safe with. Um, I think that's very apparent is like, I really share a lot of my YouTube where I don't share as much of my Instagram or TikTok, whatever it may be. And I literally just went to look up somebody's like it, know it. And because there was something they had that was really cute and I wanted to buy the top. And somehow like Reddit forums came up about them and I like clicked on it and it was just like these horrible forums where they just like judge so many fitness influencers. And I get you're in the light and that's what you opt into. Um, but at the same time, like part of me feels sad that that's what people spend all their days doing. Like when I scrolled down, I was like, updated every hour if not sooner and it doesn't i didn't even like i know not to look at myself like i know not to like ignorance is bliss for me i don't want to know what people say there's been so many weird lies that i've read um and i just know for my mental health ignorance is bliss so i didn't even see that but it, it just even made me sad that just like there's people out there that do that like it's okay to think one thing that's okay it's okay to disagree you're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea but for people to literally like tear other women down and also don't follow them if you have this much of a problem with them why are you snooping it's just like the weirdest concept to me in the entire world and i don't know if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it at all karma as the queen swift would say we'll get those people so I think I just, I read it and it just made me feel so sad. And sometimes I'm like, why is this my job? Like, it, it just like, how can I make a better impact, you know? So I just was like in this weird feel and I just like went for a walk without my phone and it was nice. And yeah, I don't know. It can just get discouraging at times. And at the end of the day, everyone's a human. And I just, that's where I'll leave it. I am 28 and I, I just, I kind of want to get my shit together. Like I just, I'm, I'm not looking for kids, I'm not looking for any of that, but a lot of my friends are and that's great. And like, I love that for them. And we, we bought a house and like, I just want to have good vibes all around. And this year I've already just dealt with a lot in my personal life that I've just kind of unpacked for myself of being like, who do I want to become? What do I want to be associated with? What do I even want to wear? What, what, like just weird things. I feel like I lost myself. I don't know. I, I kind of shared this on TikTok a little bit. Um, if you, I guess go check it out if you want to see it. It was very like self-revealing, but it, it was kind of, and this is gonna be the longest vlog ever, but it was kind of like, I just had this like a, epiphany. Where did I go as me? And I think a lot of us may have that. Um, Maybe you get lost in a relationship. Maybe you get lost in a career. Maybe you get lost in your family and you feel like you can't be yourself. I've literally been all of those, okay? I'm someone that like adapts and molds to like a, 
a personality in the room or the vibe in the room. Like I really feel people's energy and I will adapt as much as I hate that. I don't know, I, what is that even called? I have no idea. Um, but like I will mimic them not knowing to almost make them feel comfortable maybe. Um, and so I just feel like at the end of the day, I, I really realized I didn't recognize myself online anymore maybe and I, I want to bring myself back to like the roots of when I first started and when I first started I didn't care what brands I was with I didn't care what people thought of my physique I didn't care where the comments were coming from I didn't care to have followers like it, it was me purely sharing it because it was something that got me out of a rut and thinking like how can I make friends how, how can I meet more people I was lonely so I, I don't know it just like hit me and I was like oh my god you've been like of course I'm still me and also we're supposed to change as people so I'm not saying I'm trying to revert back to who I was because I definitely don't believe you should do that but I do want to find myself again and find myself feeling confident again and feeling confident in my content I'm actually like making a lot of things I'm proud of now and switching it up I'm doing film photography again I'm making posts again like I for a while just didn't know what to do and I didn't feel like myself and now I'm just kind of like how can I bring my new age and who I am even as little as me li I'm literally wearing neutrals as we speak I love the bright colors and I still do I do I definitely do I just ordered the same bra in a bright blue don't get me wrong I do but like I also want to embrace that side of me that is more earthy and more kind of like one with nature and I don't know how to put it more autumning I just I feel confident I feel like I look good my eyes pop and just like it's what I like and for the longest time I was wearing things that I thought other people would like if that's the that's the fastest way I could summarize it and I just I don't know what it is, but I just had, I just woke up one day and I said, you're back girlfriend. But I hope you liked this vlog. This is more of a, not only like physique update, but also just like where I've been mentally. And there's just a lot of changes that are coming in my life and I'm excited to share them with you. I'm excited to find me again and not be defined by something else. Um, yeah, that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to YouTube channel and I will see you next time.